Happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. Of course, oh my gosh, everybody is running on steam after that Astros oh, yeah. game last night. You stayed up late. Yeah. I stayed up late. Amazing win. I didn't doubt it. I mean, I, I knew they were going to come home 1-1, so there were I'm so pumped. a couple pumped. iffy moments. It always makes me nervous when they go into overtime, but when we got those two runs... You know, we're History golden. History in the making. History in the making. Absolutely. It's going to happen, folks. Feeling it. All right. Besides it being Thursday, do you know what today is? Uh, National Pumpkin Day? Yeah, you've heard, right? I've heard. It is yeah. National Pumpkin Day. It is tis the season for everything pumpkin spice flavored everything. Joining us now to tell us all about that, Joy Partain is with Kroger and is here now. And I love the setup that you have, Joy. You have everything for somebody, I right? Went, I went a little wild. <laughs> I love store, it. I will say. I did. And what Kroger has is a wide variety of all kinds of foods with so pumpkin much. flavor. Yes. And I will say, here's a bit of education. They're in and out items. If you like these, get them right now because they probably won't be available after a couple more months. Oh. Manufacturers and our bakeries do a lot of stuff at this time of year. So stock up if you like them. This I pumpkin popcorn, by the way, we were eating before the show. It has just a hint of the flavor. It's yeah. not overdone. It's delish. It's yeah. like, I, it almost is very caramel corny. And this is uh, microwave popcorn. We did it right here. And it's really good. It's yeah. like salty and sweet. So yep. I really like that. Yep. And some of this, not well, no, quite as healthy. Now, what is that? Uh, this is a bar. A right? pumpkin bar? Pumpkin mm -hmm. bar, like a is, shortbread maybe? Yep. Is this something you make yourself or is it pre-made? No, it's in the bakery. Huh. Yep. Mm. A, oh, wow. a little plastic bin. I love it. Holy cow, that's like so this, good. a little bit bigger. And then over there at the end, we have pumpkin seeds too in dark chocolate. So it's healthy for you? It, sure, <laughs> it's healthy yeah, for you. Sure. Healthy-ish, um, but, but delicious. I love these. Pumpkin seeds are pretty good for you, and pumpkin in general is. It's high in vitamin A, beta carotene, fiber. And is this stuff at Kroger? Is all the pumpkin stuff together in one section, or do you just have to Depends keep an on eye the out store. for it? It depends on the store, really. So many different store layouts. So some are in the, definitely look in the promo aisle where you can find this kind of stuff, uh, and some the. Baked goods are in the bakery, um, the candies with the candy. Um, so it, it depends on the size of the store. Ooh, I love the variety yes. of this, too, because it all started sort of with the, the pumpkin spice, the coffee sure. creamer, and now it's expanded to everything from beer to treats to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? All kinds. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, okay. so much. Let's talk a little bit about um, some pumpkin education because there are you all bet. kinds of pumpkins. Some are great there for are. carving, others are great for eating. Yep. But there's definitely a difference, right? Yes. Because you don't want to try to make a pie with the wrong pumpkin. No, this is the standard jack-o'-lantern pumpkin and you do not want to make a pie out of this. Because inside it's really stringy and full of seeds, right? Yes, and I love toasting the seeds. So I, I highly too. recommend that. It's, it's better for you than chips or pretzels, but it has that crunch and the salt if you add salt. And when you toast them, you just spread them on a cookie sheets, yep. sprinkle them with a little seasoning, put them yeah, up for Yeah, even like long? some uh, cumin or cinnamon or something like that. Oh, That's really creative. good, too. Yes. Yeah, I like that kind of spicy. Okay, mm -hmm. you're great. A little I bit. Like just 250 do butter degrees? and 350. 350? Yep. Okay. And broil them so they'll get really crispy. So this okay. one we carve and can yes. eat the seeds. And we, yes, and we sold almost a quarter million of these. Customers oh really like in this area making jack-o'-lanterns. They wow. do, and you know yes. what? It's been cool enough. Usually by this time our pumpkins have kind of melted, right. if you right. will, if you've already carved them. Well, so. I learned a trick a few years ago. After you carve yours, cover uh, your carving with saran wrap and stick it in the fridge. It'll extend its life. There you go. Oh, wait, you oh. can carve a few days before Halloween. Now you need to make room in your fridge. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll help help keep it fresh. Okay, and then what are the rest of the pumpkins that you brought? Well, this is the kind you make pie with. Okay, the smaller ones. Yep. Um, this is called a fairy tale pumpkin. It's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. This is called a Cinderella. That's called a great white. And that's this one um, here. And these are ornamental gourds you can put on your table. Some of them, Joy, I've noticed in the store, sorry, Courtney, to jump okay. in, but uh, I mean, sometimes it looks like these pumpkins have like weird things growing on them, almost like tumors. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? I, yeah, bumps like the boils. I picked yeah. the beautiful ones. But, but yes, is that, is these there are not for should... eating. <laughs> that's why. These are just for looking. Yes. And sort of the ones with yes. the bumps and things like that, that's part just of the... Just decorative. Yes. yes. So don't try to eat them. No. Don't try to cut them and no, bake Derek. them. Or Do roast not them. try to eat those. Okay, because they, they'll just. These are the only them. ones you eat. Or no. you can buy a pie from the baked goods section and not even mess with that. Usually, what I do. Yeah. That's where usually I'm rolling out to get the Me pie. Too. So we're going to play a little game. We're going to do the weights of the pumpkins. Yes. All right. Like this one? Okay, let's see. I would say 
This one is like 35 pounds. Oh, wow. Hold on. I want to try. Uh, I'd say this is like uh, 20 pounds. You're, well, are we going with best of? It's almost 15. Almost 15, 15 pounds. Okay. I don't okay, know what I'm thinking. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go for, wow, I don't even know. 16 pounds. 20. 15. Oh. 15 pounds. Oh, you looked at her notes. Okay. I have a feeling. No, I, no, no. I really didn't. Okay, let's try one more. That one's hefty. Oh my gosh. Heavier than a newborn. I always compare it to like, how much does my niece and my nephews weigh? Oh yeah, maybe 40? I'm gonna say like 25. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you cheated. I'm way you? off. 24.6. Totally, you looked at no, her notes. I, I honestly didn't. I just <laughs> oh have my gosh. Nap. Okay, one more. It was my minor in college, pumpkin weighing. It was? Okay. Oh, 10. Yeah. I'm going to say uh, 13. 16. Oh. Okay, I think I won that one too. Good yeah, job, I Courtney. Know. Okay. Joy, Joy thank, thank you, you so much. You bet. We appreciate it. Was it was fun seeing you. And have fun with these two. And if you want, I mean, you don't even have to figure it out yourself. That's the stencils yeah. in there. Patterns. Very cool. Okay. Yep. We're going to be carving up some pumpkins, I think, yeah. very, very soon, Courtney. Hey, if you guys want to get your own pumpkins along with some delicious pumpkin inspired goodies, just in time for Halloween, you can check out Kroger's website, Kroger.com. Joy Partain, thank you again. Nice oh, to see so you. Oh, so much fun. Thank you. All right, well, let's talk about our 